All right. Super Eagles of Nigeria taking on Guinea-Bissau in their third match of the AFCON qualifiers. Match hosted at the MKO Abiola Stadium in Abuja. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And we start with the Super Eagles on the ball. Samuel Chukweze to Osai Samuel. And he tries to find Victor Osimen, but his pass is cut off right before it gets to the Napoli striker. And as you see right there, just tries to square the ball. And the defender stretches his feet and stops it. And you have Guinea Bissau on the goal, but Kevin Akboguma gets his foot on the ball. A foul is called against Guinea any Basau Super Eagles ball and we move next up you have the Super Eagles on the ball Samuel Chukweze gets it to Victor Seaman he heads it misses it just barely but he was offside anyways as you can see right here on the replay he gets his head on the ball really should be scoring that either way it goes and you have Super Eagles on the goal a shot from Samuel Chukweze blocked once again Chukweze to Osai Samuel as Osai Samuel is looking for a penalty right there he dove on the ground as you can see nice ball by Samuel Chukweze and right there just dove into the man and foul wasn't called Kalechi Yanacho to Samuel Chukweze he tries to get it to this man but it goes back to the goalkeeper. That was Ademala Lukma and tried to find. And this time, Wilfred and Didi comes back and helps win the ball back. Ball goes out for a goal kick. Kelechi Yanacho to Victor Seaman. And the goalkeeper makes a great save right there. Beautiful pass by Kelechi Yanacho. Victor Seaman tries to lift it, but does not get it right there. Kelechi to Samuel Chukweze. He puts it up and it goes over everybody's head out for a goal kick. Really should have been looking for Victor Seaman right there. As you can see, the ball comes in and it goes over Ademala Lukman's head right there. And a shot comes in for Guinea Bissau. Goes wide off target. As you can see right here, outside the box. Really does not train the goalkeeper. A nice looking shot, but just no precision in it. And this time is the big moment. Mama Balde receives the ball over the top and puts it underneath Francis Uzoha. And that's the first goal of the game. And Guinea Bissau takes the lead. As you can see, you can hear a pin drop out there. Everybody's silent. Guinea Bissau gets the first goal of the game. He ran through two defenders. I guess they didn't know who was supposed to mark who, and they just fell apart right there. Victor Seaman turned around and shoot, but it's blocked, and he went down hurt. But luckily for him and luckily for us, luckily for Napoli, he was back in the game. Victor Seaman gets the ball to Alex Wobi, but his shot is blocked. And it barely came off his foot. And this is a great opportunity for Guinea Bissau. Really could have been 2-0. The player hits the side net. And, and the Super Eagles are let off right there. And Kalechi Anacho to Victor Osime. He should have shot that first time. Tried to cut it back. And it was taken away. A shot from Guinea Bissau. But it goes straight at the goalkeeper. Victor Osime receives the ball. Puts in a cross. But it goes over everybody and goes out for a throw in again another ball in Ademala Lukman this time he doesn't find anybody the ball goes out and that's a goal kick again you have Super Eagles on the ball and this time Ademala Lukman trying to find this man but put a little bit too much in it right at the goalkeeper getting beside ball forward but straight at Francis Uzoha free kick Super Eagles Ademala Lukman takes it but it plays it wide off target. This is the second half, beginning of the second half. Moses Simon and Paul Onuachu came in for Kalechi Yanacho and Ademala Lukman. And we move here. We have Samuel Chukweze losing the ball in the box. That chance is gone. Alex Iwobi finds Victor Seaman. Even though the Guinea Bissau player got his foot on the ball, it was called an offside right there. Paul Onuachu cuts the ball back, but just did not get a hold of it rightly. It goes straight to the goalkeeper right there and this you have a penalty shot for the super eagles referees not having it bounced off like two players and went into the guy's elbow right there but the referee says that's too close right there and he says no penalty nice ball to find Wilfred and diddy but under the rest he can't handle it and he pokes it to the goalkeeper and that chance is gone right there and you have Guinea Bissau committing a foul Kevin Okboguma kicked in the face a real real bad one right there the player got a yellow card and maybe it should have been a red honestly because that was a high boot and he really really hurt the man he had to be substituted as you saw Calvin Bassi showing the sideline right there and once again on the replay 
just a dreadful kick right there and he had to be substituted a head injury next you have victor seaman in the foot race gets to the ball but a player comes in front of him and goes down with a little bit of contact victor seaman definitely doesn't like it he says he didn't foul the man kind of touched the man on the back and he went down once he pokes the ball check it out he pokes the ball and just goes down nobody took him down victor seaman definitely not happy with that situation samuel chukweze gets it to moses simon no 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 plays the ball off target a great great opportunity almost like a penalty kick right there but he plays it wide off target victor seaman to wilford and diddy a great opportunity again but it's cleared before he even gets to the line guinea Bissau on the ball a shot from outside the box but it goes way over the bar and that chance goes away right there for guinea Bissau powerful strike but no precision super eagles on the ball ball into the box paul on watch gets his head on it but does none other than that gets his head on the ball goes out and samuel chukweze in the box with the shot but it goes over the bar nice move by samuel chukweze gets past this one excuse me excuse me shoots it and that's where the problem came in that shot nice one by samuel chukweze just could not get that final touch that was needed and that chance goes away samuel chukweze to alex iwobi who shoots but his shot is headed away alex iwobi ball into the box but goes straight to the goalkeeper the goalkeeper was wasting time all day let's be honest and you have super eagles on the ball in the box samuel chukweze shot but it goes over the bar a little bit better this time but the same result just about ball goes over the bar nice strike by samuel chukweze but just barely barely over the bar and that chance is gone still 1-0 in favor of guinea Bissau at that moment moses simon on the ball a cross in paul on two header but cannot direct it on target heads it wide off target there was a man right behind him shemi ajayi and that's a guy that could have actually done a good job also but paul on the your striker he's definitely not passing that up just misses it at the end and here we have Ahmed Musa coming in for Samuel Chukweze 87 minute of the match I felt Samuel Chukweze played a great match in my opinion Ahmed Musa on the ball shoots from long range but a block comes in right away does not even go towards target and this time a ball in the box Paul Onwachu's header but it goes straight at the goalkeeper and this time you have a ball again in the box Victor Seaman trying to get something going but the referee says a handball in the box he calls it against paul onuachu and check this out right here the man is on the ground the ball is struck at him and the referee says that's a foul uh l referee right there to be honest and you have guinea Bissau on the ball a great chance rounds the goalkeeper but Frank the Tank on Yeka does just enough to make him miss the opportunity. I'm at Musa with a ball into the box. Moses Simon gets his head on it, but cannot put it on target. And that's how the match ended. One goal to zero in favor of Guinea Bissau. Definitely a whole bunch of soul searching to be done by the Super Eagles and the coaching staff. And hopefully they get things right when they play the second match in a few days. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.